He's too sick to travel again if this fails. It's the waiting that's the worst. If Kerbal has some magic cure, why doesn't she just give it to my husband? To all of these poor souls? Are you also waiting to see Kerbal? She's the village's mayor. They say Kerbal can cure any disease, but once cured, you can never leave the village. I'm not sick, but my husband Draven is. And if we have to live in a hovel for the rest of our lives to save him, that's fine by me. That's another strange thing. It's hidden, through the cave up the hill. Kerbal will send for me eventually. But I'm worried. It's forever without him. Could you take a look and make sure Draven's all right? I have some gold. I can pay you. You'll need to talk to the guard by the cave entrance before you go. They don't take kindly to unexpected visitors. Draven's my husband, tall, handsome fellow. Tell him I'm still waiting. To be honest, we don't know. He doesn't like to talk about it, even to me. Last month he locked himself in our basement and refused to come out, as if he was afraid I'd catch it from him. Draven entered the village a week ago. Kerbal says it's part of the treatment, to see how the patient fares without his or her family. She sent someone to tell me it won't be much longer. I can't wait to be with my husband again. I heard all about a legendary village where all illnesses cured ever since I was a lad. When Draven got sick, I needed to find it, or learn whether it even existed. Spent nearly all our gold until I did, and here we are at last. Too, sister. The Hagraven's influence grows stronger. Keep your distance, outsider. The last thing we need is some rock-brained city dweller bumbling around. Darkness dominates this part of the forest. Yuella the Hagraven and her reachmen are encamped here. For now, at least. Where they travel, the forest slowly withers and dies. We will drive Yuella and her dark witnesses from here, or we will die. Unfortunately, the old hag is no stranger to weird magic. She has constructed foul totems that suppress our power. You expect me to trust one such as you? Hm. 
Perhaps, if one of my sisters keeps an eye on you. Weiris Rashan is young, but she will do. Rashan returns shortly from scouting. If you really wish to help us, she can join you to destroy the totems. Here she comes now. Rashan, we have a volunteer to destroy Uella's totems. We aren't in the habit of trusting outsiders, but the suffering of the forest seems to have softened my sister's heart. If you really wish to help us, I suppose that's an offer we can't refuse. It won't be easy. First, you will need to destroy Uella's totems. They keep us from drawing on the power of nature for our magicka. The Reachmen guard them closely, but I'll fight at your side. No spells, but I've got sharp claws and a mean I bite. do what I do for the forest, not for you. There are three totems, just a bunch of strung-together sticks for you, but they're like poison to me. I can't get too close, so it's all on you to destroy them. Destroying the totems is the first step to restoring the natural order.
dare another one of them to come closer. Of all the travesties against nature, this is the most foul. This is the last one, the last Spriggan. There used to be hundreds in Jackdaw Cove, frolicking about in the grass and the water. They were beautiful. Worse, they poisoned them, corrupted them, turned them into monstrosities. Those lurchers. This is the only Spriggan left, and the Reachman's poison already courses through her branches. She will soon transform unless I am able to treat her. My sisters would not want me to trust an outsider, but they are not here, and I cannot leave her side. Frankly, I am surprised you share my concerns. You are sure you wish to help me? I need heartwood from inside the lurchers. It's the only thing that will help the little Spriggan at this point. I hesitate to ask more of an outsider, but we could do more than just ease her passing. There is a chance we can save her life. It will require more work, though. The heartwood degrades quickly in the lurchers, but sometimes remains pure. If you take the extra time to find the pure heartwood, it could save the Spriggan.
Wow. I can actually feel the forest again. This is good. The natural order is re-emerging already. It's still very weak, though. It has to be nurtured back to health. She has to die. Until Yuella's gone, the corruption remains. Her blood is the nurture the forest needs. Whoa. My magicka is returning, and it's making me lightheaded. Meet me over at the old tower. I need to get my bearings. Listen, I, I was wrong to be so hard on you before. You've certainly proven now that you deserve my trust. I appreciate your help more than I can express, especially if you'll see this thing through. You did? <laughs> well, I guess we got the old hag's attention. Maybe we put the foul thing on the defensive. Of course... She probably has layers upon layers of protection. I don't even know how to find her. I don't suppose you have any inkling? The poor crows. She's taken complete control of them. Their spirits are helpless. They can only watch what happens to their physical forms from the nature realm. She does have them coming and going though, so they would know where to find her. As a matter of fact, now that I can draw on the power of nature again, there is. I can take you into the nature realm, not in that form, of course, but it would allow us to talk to the crow's true spirits. I don't think Yuella's going to see this coming. Once the crows tell us how to find her, we'll soon be gnawing on her rock. Must be nice 
nice to be able to travel between this realm and the physical realm. I'm stuck here. Yes, I'm stuck here. If she were here, I'd peck her eyes out. No, she's not in the nature realm. But of course, you can't reach her in the physical realm. Maybe one of the other crows knows more. A wolf tried to eat me once, you know. Just because we're in the nature realm, you think we can be friends now? Maybe. Did that Hagrid entrap your spirit here as well? Oh? If you can access the physical realm, might have a chance. The door to Yuella's lair is in this realm, you see. But you have to break the wards in the physical realm. There's more to it, though. You should ask one of the other. We can dispense with the small talk. I know why you're here. Even in the nature realm, news travels fast among crows. Getting to Yuella is impossible, though. Even if you break her wards, entering her domain will corrupt your soul. Well, why didn't you just say so? That would work. There is something different about you, isn't there? Yuella's lair is in the island tower. Break the wards in the physical realm, but enter the door from here. Don't tell her I told you, though. This looks like the place. I guess you're the one who's going in. Here I was, just starting to feel like you're one of the pack, and now we have to part ways. Obviously, I'll have to be the one to break the wards on the door. It doesn't seem fair. You get to go in and chew the old hag's face off. I don't think so. Her lair's actually in the physical realm, so you'll assume your physical form. Probably not so much chewing, I suppose. That's good, though. You'll need your hands. After the crone's dead, you'll have to get her nasty little heart. When I said her blood was the nurture that the forest needs, I meant that, literally. She's the source of the corruption here, so we need her heart to perform the ritual to cleanse the forest. So, are you ready to go get... There. Back in the physical realm. Time to do this. All right, the door should be open now. Go get me that heart.
to enter my dark hole. Tear you apart, my crows. <laughs> Voices, no more restraint. Bodies and minds together again. The crows of Jackdaw Cove are in your debt. Yes, free and feasted. The Hag Raven was all skin and bones, but what's there is sweet to eat. So thank you for saving us, and thank you for supper. The Reachmen must have sensed Yuella's death. They started to panic and fight amongst themselves. Made them easy pickings for me and my sisters. Now, the heart. You do have it, I hope. You see all the giant vines choking the life out of everything here. The ritual will purge the area of their evil presence. It's necessary for the land to heal. Why are you stalling, though? You've grown attached to those vines? Actually, hold on to it. I have an idea. Weiris Freda will howl, but I think you've earned the honor. Let us begin the ritual, and once we've penetrated the earth, you can throw the heart into the circle to complete the spell. All right, sisters. Let us begin the ritual. It's your moment. Go ahead. Throw the heart into the circle. Who would have guessed it would be an outsider who would show up and kill you, Ella? I doubt this means we'll start inviting families from Evermore out to visit, but maybe, just maybe, we can be a little more friendly. I, for one, am as grateful to you as the flowers are to the sun. You brought life back to these lands when it was nearly choked out. Though we may never officially call an outsider a friend, I think we can at least consider you an ally. Well, I expect you won't be returning anytime soon to enjoy my sister's hospitality. And I can guarantee we won't run into each other on some city street. So I guess this is goodbye then. Of course. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. I didn't think about it before, but I suppose this means the Reachmen are no longer a threat to Evermore either. All right. Well, if you ever come back to this neck of the woods, we'll kill you. <laughs> I'm only joking. We're as humor again. Go on now. May her scene bless your hunt wherever it may lead you.
We shouldn't get our hopes up too much. But with the pure heartwood, there is at least a chance our little friend can be healed. Have you been able to find any? Quickly then, let me mix it into a poultice. I am grateful that you were able to find the pure heartwood. I hope so. Here, take the poultice and apply it to the poor thing. I must be prepared to do whatever is necessary. I pray to all the gods to bless our efforts and bring it back. The forest would never be the same without Spriggans. Thank you! Now, with nature's blessing, our little friend will survive the Reachman invasion. But as for her sisters, the only thing left is to avenge them. The abominations are created just across the water. A witchman has built a transformation altar there to perform his foul work. I am not equipped for this task. Will you go destroy the altar and kill the witchman for me? For the Spriggans who died? Creature meddles with my magic. Did you destroy the altar and kill that bastard witchman? Thank you. I intend to take great care of this last little Spriggan. With Hercene's blessing, I hope she might be the seed to spawn many more, and that someday a multitude of Spriggans will again frolic in the waters of Jackdaw Cove.
stop! I must alert the mayor to all new arrivals. Many would. I can't allow everyone into the village, or we'd be overrun by disease. Some say the village can cure everything, but that's definitely not true. We're very selective. You seem healthy enough, though. What's your business? His case came up today, so your timing is excellent. I'll signal ahead that you're coming in. We ask that you don't stray from the town once you pass the cave. The woods beyond the village aren't safe. We don't get many visitors nowadays. Don't get me wrong, though, I'm pleased to see another soul. I'd offer you something to eat, but I'm afraid I've... Rejoice! Soon we you will have a new Fort member Barat of our family. Against General Seth. Draven. A friend of mine fought there. Patience, friends. I will speak to each of you individually. I don't recognize you. Come. Let us speak. Welcome to our humble village. Not many find us by accident, yet I smell no illness upon you. May I ask what brings you here, if not the cure? Ah, Renoir sent you then. He need not wait outside any longer. Draven will soon be inducted into the village. I'll see to it the guard lets him know. Is that all you seek, then? I apologize, but you are an outsider. It's impossible for you to fully understand, but... Suffice to say that those who are cured must stay in the village. It is for our protection and theirs. Draven is in the guest house, if you wish to see him. for not getting up. It's been a long day, and I'm ravenous. Is there something you need? Are you new too? He's such a silly one. Of course I am, now that Kerbal's agreed to cure me. He can come to the village now the first week's over. Is he still suspicious of these fine folk in the village, I wonder? Ah, I'm afraid I can't talk about it. The village prides itself on privacy. I apologize if Renoir inconvenienced you in your travels, but as you can see, everything's fine. Draven, what's going on? No one will tell me a thing. Come and sit, dear. Everything will be all right. I can't be the only one who thinks something strange is going on. Kerbal and a lot of them, there's some kind of cult. Renoir, let it rest. Soon I'll be better. Doesn't that count for something? I don't trust anyone in this town. Why won't they tell me exactly what the cure is? Why can't we leave town afterwards? And if they have a remedy, why can't they tell me what's wrong with Draven? Draven's desperate for a cure. He'll believe anything, anyone. I know you've got your own business, but I could use someone on my side. If you could have a look around, or maybe ask people about this place, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Thank you. I'll talk to Kerbal directly and see if she'll tell me anything. So far, she's kept all the details to herself, and you can see what Draven's like. When you have something concrete, let me know. It'd do a lot to ease my mind. To be honest, we don't know. He doesn't like to talk about it, even to me. Last month, he locked himself in our basement and refused to come out, as if he was afraid I'd catch it from him. Stay 
staying in the guest house, are you? I'm sure your induction will go smoothly. Most of them do. Nothing. I am bound by my arrangement with both the village and its leader. Surely you can understand. My oaths are sacred, and I pledge... I don't get a lot of business from outsiders, and my stock is limited. I spent a month trying to convince Kerbal to take me in. Not about to ruin all that work by blabbing off to an outsider. If Kerbal wants you to know something, she'd already have told you. If you're so eager to learn our secret, talk to Helene. She's in the lower floor of that house yonder. That's all I'm going to say.